Hello, 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 ho. Welcome to day one of the Diligent for Life Prayer Challenge. So we are on day one, and I'm excited. We're going to go ahead and get started. I hope you are having a wonderful, marvelous day at the same time. And so let's go ahead and get started. So day one, I decree and declare that what would take you seven years to accomplish, you will accomplish within a year in the name of Jesus. Welcome to day one. I am so glad that you decided to be a part of something that will truly be a blessing to you. God's thoughts are so much bigger than our thoughts. The sooner we grasp hold to that, the more God will be able to use to build his kingdom. And so what I want to do is a scripture that um, I have in here is Matthew 6, 6 and 8. What it says is, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain reputation, as the health as heathens do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. And so, this is that first part, that first tool we talked about, that seclusion, that area, being in a quiet place where you can go and pray to God. Some people have to go on walks. Some people might have private rooms or you might be able to go in the living room if you have family or kids or, you know, you're married. You know, so there's some things that you're going to have to do to go ahead and make that decision to spend some quiet time with God. You have to be willing. Maybe you have to go to work earlier. You know, something you might have to do, you have to make a sacrifice for God. But I promise you, God will reward you for your sacrifice. Okay? Uh, and also what it says in the chapter the word says, when thou prayest, enter into the closet. First, we have to get you to the place where it comes natural for you to just open your mouth to pray. In my church, we have a saying, if you think about it, pray about it. So if something is in your heart and mind tempting you to worry or shrink back in fear, you can choose instead to stand up and pray as a prayer warrior you were created to be. And so the chapters are really short. I didn't do too much because I, I really want people to focus on prayer and not on reading so much, right? Um, so uh, the great part about the first chapter is um, it's straight to the point and it's clear. It gives you some clear directions about opening your mouth to pray. Uh, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. A lot of people, some people, they'll sit there and they won't pray and they won't open their mouth and pray to God. And I, sometimes I don't understand that. Because you have to ask, you have to ask, you have to ask, <laughs> uh, you know, you have to ask God, you have to pray to God, you have to have a direct connection, a conversation with God. Prayer is a conversation between you and God, so you have to speak, right? And so, you know, there is some other parts of it where we talk about the listening side of prayer, where after you pray, you say the things that you're going to say in prayer, you can sit there and rest in his presence and allow God to speak to you. Uh, just the way he knows how to speak to you. Everybody individually may not get that audible voice, but sometimes you have that inner thought, that inner idea that comes and you have your handy dandy notebook to be able to take notes on that conversation, okay? And so what I do is I do some challenges daily. And so uh, for day one challenge, let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it in the book and then we'll go from there, okay? So day one challenge, let's speak by opening up our mouth and allowing this prayer to come out at least three times throughout your day. It is important to say this out loud, okay? So what it says is, Lord, I thank you for the yearning to pray. I long to be closer to you every single day. Whatever enemy is trying to stop me from praying to you, he will not succeed. I decree and declare that I will operate in a constant conversation with you. My voice will be a sweet incense to you. My words will bring life to any situation. Pluck out uproot anything in me that is not like you. I desire to be closer to you. Thank you. I believe in Jesus' name. Amen. And so I want you to do this three times uh, today. So uh, Daniel talks about in the chapter uh, when the, the original uh, verses that started this um, this conversation. Talk about the pray morning, noon, and night. So if good practice for you, if you can do it in the morning time, say this prayer out loud in the morning time, at your lunch time, and then at night time, right? Three times where you get a chance to say this prayer out loud. And um, what also I have you do 
is for three minutes, raise your hands and thank God for all he has. And so, so all you're doing is saying, Lord, I just thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I just thank you for another day. Lord, I thank you uh, for another victory. Lord, I thank you for another breath. Lord. Lord, I thank you for my family. I thank you for uh, my wife. I thank you for my business. I thank you for uh, the things that you have me doing daily that's inspiring others and impacting uh, our lives like never before. Lord, I thank you, Lord, Father God, for the safety in our community, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, Father God, for unity in our community, Lord. Lord, I thank you. I just thank you, Lord, Father God. I thank you, Lord, Father, for you sending your son to die for us, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, Father God. Praise you, Lord, Father God. I thank you. And so you just three minutes you're just saying i thank you lord right and so the second thing is i want you to do if you can i want you to call up one of your family members and tell them that you just want to say a prayer for them so uh you call it if you have a, a spouse or if you have a friend or a sister a brother or a mom a father you want to just call them and just pray for them. Just just something really simple. Be like, hey, I feel it. I, I want to be able to, I want to say a prayer for you today. I want to pray for you. And what that does, what, what it did for me, uh, let's, let's speak about this. Um, it helped me build confidence. Um, I know at one point, at some point in my life, people used to be like, Ricardo is so shy. Like, to see the things that he is doing now, it's truly amazing and what it's from is because I started doing things like this that allow me to stretch myself um, allow me to be able to be keen to the spirit and just be able to speak things out and then what at some point I remember I was doing a podcast for a gentleman and he was like man you look so relaxed and, and you're singing and you're humming and you're, like how do you do it I'm so nervous I was like well at some point I realized that the things that I'm doing is for God you know, God got it. You know, it's not, it's not, I'm not doing it. I'm doing it for God. God told me to do it, so I'm going to do it, right? And so I realized that I didn't have to put that pressure on me because I'm expecting the Holy Spirit to come in and take over a conversation. And it's been plenty of times where it felt like I didn't bring it, like, it, you know, how, you, how you, 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 you prep for things and your things, and then uh, when you go through it and you do it, you sometimes you, you just think kind of thoughts and negative thoughts, like, man, I should have did better, whatever. Then you, you turn back around and somebody says, man, you did a wonderful job. You did a marvelous job. And in your mind, you're like, well, I know God did this because, man, I felt like it just, it just didn't hit, right? And so I, I learned not to second guess what God has put me in position to accomplish to do. So uh, that second guess is what's holding a lot of people back in life for being, being uh, successful, for making the impact they desire. Because if you're always second guessing what God is doing in your life, how are you going to be blessed, right? You're hindering your blessings. And so uh, today, um, when you uh, pray for somebody, call them up and just say, I just want to pray. I'm just being led to pray for you today. And it don't have to be a long in depth prayer. It could be something very simple, right? And then also the last test, I want you to read chapter Matthew chapter 6 in, in its entirety because you have to have the word because what's happening a lot of times people who um who begin to pray and they don't read the word it's hard for you to know what to pray for but when you read the bible you start realizing that man god is sent to protect me oh man god is my shield and he's my buckler what does that mean but then you start thinking about that thing you start learning and educating yourself on things man you said in the word that if i ask it shall be given unto me. Seek it, ye shall find. Knock it, the door shall be opened unto you. What? Man, all says in the words that I have to meditate day and night. Wow. You know, so there's different things that you start learning and you start understanding the word and you start eating that thing. That thing start uh, 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 getting into your thoughts, your, your, your mind, your subconscious mind. It starts hitting you. And then all of a sudden, your belief system, your belief, you believe it's going to happen, right? Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, right? And so your belief system, your belief, your whole entire life will begin to change. Um, whatever situation you're in, just know that God is here for you. And so what I'm going to do to you, I'm going to do like I told you to do today, which is call somebody. So I'm calling you to pray for you today. Okay? So we're going to end in prayer. So 
Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Father God, for this day one of the Diligent for Life Prayer Challenge, Lord. I pray, Lord Father God, that this person, Lord Father God, who is watching this video, Lord Father God, uh, anything uh, that is a sign to cripple uh, their courage, their courageousness, uh, to uh, have confidence, Lord Father God, and who they're called to be, Lord. We come against that right now by fire in the name of Jesus. We, if, if anything uh, healing-wise needs to happen in their body, Lord, I speak healing right now in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus, Lord. Anything, Lord Father, that are distractions surrounding uh, this conversation about prayer, Lord Father God, about uh, spending time in your word, spending time in your presence, Lord Father God. Lord Father, I speak, Lord, a cloak of love and, and a peace of mind, Lord Father God. Lord Father God, and uh, that the distractions, Lord Father God, that's a sign uh, from stopping us to hear uh, your conversation with us, Lord Father God, to write down our dreams and our desires and our visions, Lord Father God. Lord Father God, we speak we, we deployed the angel of war to destroy our enemies, Lord Father God. And I thank you, Lord Father God, for uh, this day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it, Lord Father God. And I just thank you for another day, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. And so that's day one of the Diligent for Life Prayer Challenge. So uh, that is chapter one of the book, Rise and Pray. You can go ahead and go to Diligent for Life. Uh, Dot, or diligentforlifeglobal.com and order your copy today and I can get that shipped out to you. But that is day one of the challenge. Uh, you have your marching orders to go out and do. And so my name is Ricardo Cordu and I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, that your days are sweet as honey and that your life brings much joy and much laughter. Your life is love and love is life. We're going to win inside. I will see you tomorrow for day two of the Diligent for Life Prayer Challenge. All right. Love y'all. Bye-bye.